Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make leads like the ones in the track Reaction by K Motions. So, this is the original track. And this is the sound we're gonna be making. Now, I know it's not exactly the same sound, but I think learning this instrument can allow you to discover the techniques and principles that create sounds like this. Then you can take all of these principles and create your own original version of this instrument. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. So, before we jump into Serum, these are the notes that we're going to be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. Okay, so here I have initially Spatch, and the principle behind the sound is actually very simple. It's just the one of a super saw wave with a bandpass filter that is very distorted. So the first thing that we need to do is to have a saw wave. Any saw wave can work. For example, the default saw wave is good. Then add lots of voices in unison to this saw wave. Change the detune maybe. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to filter this saw wave with a bandpass filter, such as a bandpass 24. Then add lots of resonance to this bandpass. And as you can see, it's already giving us an expression that is similar to the reference. So next, let's just turn on the distortion. Let's add some multiband compression and let's maybe add some hyper and dimension and some chords in the middle just to make the sound stereo. And as you can see, that's half the sound right there. Now we just need to fine tune these expressions in the filter. So for that, what you can do, or what I did in Ableton, is I just clicked and dragged this little knob right here, and I automated this manually on my DAW. So inside of Ableton, my automation looks something like this. And as you saw, I can just change this to have whatever expression I want. In this case, I'm just going to keep it exactly like the one that I did. And I'm gonna go back into Serum Patch and here we can add a couple more things. For example, we can add some noise. Just a subtle noise right there because after this we can add even more distortion. Then we can also add a sub to fit into the same distortion as this lead. Next, we can add a short transient into the sound. For example, by going into the matrix, mapping allophone number one to the global pitch and then creating a transient that is similar to the one of a kick, like this. So now we have this transient. What we can do is we can keep fine tuning this filter. Maybe we can add an LFO into the cutoff of this, make it very slow and just have it unlocked. And then we can start shaping this. That sounds very good. Now let's jump into a little bit of post-processing for the sound. Okay, so the next element of post-processing can be just adding more distortion by adding an amp. And what we can do with this amp is we can mix it quietly. Then we can EQ or hold sound. depending on which harmonics do we want to stick through the mix better. Now I just want to do a little disclaimer and tell you that this is not a mixing EQ, this is more of a sound sign EQ when we are selecting which harmonics do we allow to be in the sound, not which ones do we allow to be in the mix. So the next thing is adding this DMB Academy wider bass rack. So what this does is it keeps the dry signal, but then you can also add some stereo signal by having this short chain, which is a chorus color the sound, did some frequency shifting, 
it can be as dramatic as you want it to be. Then more chorus. And then a plugin called Wider to make this sound be as much as possible on the stereo field. And then EQing accordingly to select which parts of this signal do we want to be on the highs. For example, in this case, I am just going to cut almost all of the mids and only leave the highs. And this will serve as a stereo layer for the sound. Next thing is a high layer, which is leaving the dry signal past the rainbow coder. That is set to noise, and it has this type of curve in its frequencies. Its format is shifted up. And then everything gets EQ'd again. And this noise layer adds more highs to the sound. Then the next thing that I did was adding some compression just to keep the transients of the sound in control and keep the lead consistent. And what you can do from here is just simply go back into the patch and keep fine tuning the filter or the different LFOs, the detuning amount. And this is all the principles that create a sound or a lead like this. So that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.